Me pongo furiosa cada vez que tú me miras. Yo prefiero estar sola que tener tu mala energía. Me siento furiosa. No me quieres de enemiga. Me pongo furiosa cada vez que tú me miras. Me pongo furiosa. Escuchar el tono de tu voz Te conocí cuando no era nada Y ahora piensa que tú sabes más que yo Y piensa que tú me conoces Diciendo todos esos rumores I heard you went behind my back Why you do me like that? Me pongo furiosa Cada vez que tú me miras Yo prefiero estar sola Que tener tu mala energía Me siento furiosa Me pongo furiosa cada vez que tú me miras. Yo prefiero estar sola que tener tu mala energía. Me siento furiosa. No me quieres de enemiga. Me pongo furiosa cada vez que tú me miras. Me pongo furiosa. My world has fallen I'm falling to my knees Oh, and now I feel my eyes trembling Oh, Lord, ain't no promise I'll breathe again But I won't back down For my family, you can run Some heady heart, it broke me to my knees. And I'm phone, I'm driving fears like somebody out there after me. My girl got my heart on lead. My friends, they got my back, we chase money. We together when it's storm or sunny. They expect me for the back down, it's my destiny. And this might get the best of me. I can't let you get ahead of us. I'ma have to scut you to a seat. Through it all, we can't fail, cause the plan is for the achieve. I'm just really needing some peace, hoping pain quickly leave. I admit I sound falling, but for my family, rise up. Plan on completing every mission all before my time up. Inside this car, I get it done, just watch my motor climb up. Protecting all the ones I love, can't let this evil. The world has fallen I'm falling to my knees Oh yeah And now I feel my head trembling Oh Lord, ain't no promise I'll breathe again But I won't back
I am Juju Green, and we have a fast and furious hour ahead of you. You see what I did there? See I see what, what I did you there? did there. Fax X launches the final chapters of one of cinema's most storied and popular global franchises ever. Now in its third decade and still going strong. I mean, it's crazy. I remember my first makeout was after a Fast and Furious movie. I didn't get a makeout that night. And my first feeding <laughs> ticket. <laughs> That's okay, Juju. Maybe you'll get one it's tonight. Okay. Maybe, maybe. But tonight we are in Rome. This is the very first film premiere in history at one of the seven wonders of the world, the Roman Colosseum. A Fast and Furious film making history I mean, right now. Guys, this is literally insane. Mom, you can never get mad at me for going for not going into the medical field because this is epic. I mean, this was the home of gladiator battles, mm -hmm. chariot races, and Maybe. now Fast and Furious races. This is just colossal. Tonight, my friends, we're going to be joined by the massive cast of Fast X. Pretty big. This is an epic celebration, and the first showing of the film will actually happen right down the street with more than a thousand lucky guests. We're in front of all those thousand luckies and guests. We're in front yes, of the whole world Hello, right now. Guests. What up, y'all? Can we hear it for Fast X? You guys, no. it's crazy here pretty, right now. Pretty faces, fans of the franchise like us right that right now. Uh, the Fast franchise has taken audiences all over the globe, and Fast X is no exception. This film takes us from my hometown, Los Angeles, born and raised, if you want to know. Oh, I love that. Where it all began. So, you know, I got a little close to me. It goes to Rio. We go to London, Portugal, and, of course, right here in Rome. Roma. Hey, so we have two stages here because of the number of casts we will be interviewing. So Fabio and I will stay right here once he gets on here. But Naz will head over to her stage. You get your own stage, Naz? I get my own stage, just okay. like you do. Okay, we both okay. get it. It's, it's, it's a big premiere, that's why. It's a big uh, So we'll take, right now, we'll take a look at this exclusive behind the scenes look at shooting in this spectacular city. Keep it locked.
There's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than with my Fats family here in the middle of Rome. I couldn't ask for anything more. It's a dream come true. Buongiorno, Roma. All right, here we go. The heart and soul of the Fast and Furious franchise boots on the ground, on location. No better place to do it than in Rome, huh? I got this. No, we got this. On the dangerous. That was awesome! Rome brought scale and history to the franchise. You know, we needed a optical course of sorts through one of the most famous cities in the world. It was the playground that the Fast and Furious franchise was needing. And we're happy that we didn't break Rome. <laughs> it's a dream come true, being able to work in Rome and then to be on motorcycles and ride the streets of Rome is definitely a bucket list. Momoa on a motorcycle in Rome? I mean, come on. Bravo! Everybody loves fast so much that they want to be part of it. Rome was so welcoming. We were authorized to do stuff that had never been done before. I'm really happy that we got to come to Rome because Italy has a very special place in the Fast and Furious heart, you know? Sogno che sia bene. Ah. And you guys heard it there. Momoa has said that riding his Harley through the streets of Rome was an absolute dream come true for him. And he did all of his own stunts. I mean, it's crazy. I actually also heard that he took his friends on a motorcycle tour in Rome, and I don't know who I'm more jealous of, his friends or the motorcycle. <laughs> see, he can seriously do no wrong, and I can't wait for you all to see him in this film. His character, Dante, is devilishly delicious, and the cast of Fast X is filling up this massive red carpet in front of this incredible location. As you guys, as we said before, this is the first film premiere at the Coliseum in history, and of course it's got to be for a Fast and Furious film, right Juju? I mean, when it comes to Fast and Furious, you got to go big, you got to go bold, and this is big, bold, it's badder, and the fact that it's in front of the Coliseum in Rome, those set pieces, you just got to do it, you know, there's nothing less. But of course, the godfather of the Fast and Furious franchise, Vin Diesel, is also here. We're going to run through some names because this cast is massive. Michelle Rodriguez is here. Tyrese Gibson is here. Jordana Brewster is here, finally throwing some hands. The one who's the king of the hands and feet, Jason Statham is here. Sung Kang is here. Metal Walker, which, get this, is here, and she also just announced just yesterday that she has a cameo in the film itself. John Cena is here. I actually just saw him walking by. I got a little starstruck a little bit, by his muscles mostly. Natalie Man and Manuel is here. Fast X director Louis Letelier is here. If we can get the camera on him. He's doing an interview right now. I want to talk to him. Alan Richson is here. Scott Eastwood is here. Helen Mirren is here. Brie Larson is here. Charlize Theron is here. Rita Marino is here. I just saw her walk by, and I just, you know, my little heart faded a little bit. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Brie. Helen, Rita, Charlize. That's four Oscar-winning actresses all in Fast X. Naz, that's, <laughs> that's pretty dope. We got some star power up there. I mean, it's so dope. It really just goes to show you the star power of this franchise, like you said. And we're going to be talking to them in moments, my friends. One of the greatest parts of Fast X, like I was telling you earlier, is the new villain, Dante, yep. played by none other, Jason Momoa. He really is one of those villains that you just, like, fall in love with. And he actually admires and is obsessed with Dom. But he's also very intent on destroying him and bringing down the family. Now, Jason Momoa could not be here in person tonight, and he's really not happy about it. Take a look. Aloha, Rome. Dang it. I wish I could be there with you to celebrate this amazing film, but I'm currently all the way at the bottom of the world shooting in beautiful Aotearoa. Being in Fast 10, it blew my mind. I love motorcycles, and I love fast cars, so bringing these together for Dante was an absolute treat. I'll be popping up throughout the night because I have serious FOMO, and I want to know how special this experience is for me, to my Fast Ohana, my Fast fans, all my Aloha. I can't believe I'm in this. I love you. That's the greatest villain in franchise history right there. I can say it. I saw him. He's amazing. We'll see more of Momoa in a bit. And also, 
a big announcement. We'll have an exclusive film clip from Fast X at the end of this already epic live stream. Now, before that, though, we got to introduce a good friend of mine. His name is Fabio. Fabio, come right here and join me on this stage, my boy. What's, what's going on, man? Amazing. We are in Italy. We are in Rome, my lovely country. So what's going on, like? <laughs> See, I'm, I'm really glad you said that because we met in Los Angeles. Right. Exactly. My hometown. Yes, and now we are here. In your home, like, right? Like, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you for letting me be here, bro. Now, I just got to know, like, guys, if you haven't, if you're not following on Fabio on Instagram, TikTok, you got to. He's a major car guy. He loved, you love the Fast and Furious franchise. Am I right? I love it. I love it. Yeah. You know, my, my favorite movie, you know what is it? It's the fifth in Brazil. You know, yeah. got a, a lot of money, you know what I mean? <laughs> all that money. Dude, they, they like dragged the safe all around that uh, that city over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, amazing. That's amazing. Who's your favorite fast character? Oh, man. That's difficult, but I think like Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel is... The good Dom yeah, Toretto. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Like, everywhere, it's always the best for me. <laughs> That's absolutely. Mine, mine, obviously, is like uh, Tyrese's, uh, uh, Tyrese's character. He talks so much, but he gets through everything. You yeah. know, Roman yeah. Pierce, I loved him in Fast and Furious 2. Love, man, he's just so good in every movie that he does, bro. Exactly, exactly. That's what I think. Now, I see, like, you know, you brought some snacks with us. Uh, you, got the, you got the ruffles on deck. Want to try? I, I definitely want to try. Hold up. But first, like, like, you know, Han, like, I bet you Han's a lot of people's favorite character. And in every scene, he's, like, snacking on something. You know what I'm saying? And so I like that you brought the ruffles because now we can snack right now. But ruffles is the official sponsor of this premiere. And I don't know if actual ruffles packages can be collector's items, but I definitely want to collect these right here. Can we get a look at that? So now here's the thing. Dom's Charger is on the original flavor, as you can see, and a limited time flavor, Honey Habanero, has Dante's limited edition Harley on that bag. So I, I actually think we should like start digging into these right now. You guys, oh, we should just toss it back to Naz while we like snack on these. You're making me jealous over there because what's funny is, is that Dom and Dante were already looking like snacks and now they are one. I just think that's hilarious. So guys, please save me some of those ruffles. I love just like the ruffly crunch and when the salt hits the top of your mouth, it makes me so happy. Ruffles, in fact, Fast X have actually partnered up to give residents of the United States the chance to win prize packs featuring Fandango movie tickets, Fast X gear, and for one lucky fan, get this, a 2023 Dodge Charger RT. I'm not kidding. A car. So you can see official rules and more details at RufflesFastX.com and good luck. But back to this kick-ass live premiere. Juju, Fabio, what's going on over there? Well, here's the thing. I, tell, I, I wish I could tell you who I got, but what I won't is that Charger. Uh, I need to be in that charger, so I think we should like like enter that contest together with the ruffles. So here's the thing. So once we get the charger, once we get the ruffles, me and you could drive off into the subset like all these movies. But right now we have the John Cena. I'm good, man. How are you? Thanks for having me in front of you. This is like kind of like. I mean, we're here. We're here. I think it's your show because we're in front of the Coliseum. It's Fast X. You have returned. Coliseum show? Are we all just visiting? Are we all just? We're just in the Coliseum's world right now. This enormous stage here. <laughs> I yes, think it's so. the backdrop, right? I know, right? I, you know, I never thought I would make it here. I'm from Los Angeles. And now that I'm here, it's kind of like a surreal moment. I'm from West Newbury, Massachusetts, which is not quite Los Angeles. I never thought I'd be here either. <laughs> but let's enjoy it. Let's, let's enjoy it right together. Right? Fun day. We're premiering Fast 10. It's a great movie. We've got a great crowd out there. <laughs> My goodness. You guys, hope you guys are like that during the movie. It's going to be great. <laughs> I wish I was looking as good as you, man. But you know what? I think if I get in the gym a little bit, you know, get a stylus. Padded suit. Padded suit. Everything's tucked in, <laughs> tied down. Yeah. All right. It's all effects. It's all effects based. All right. So you joined the Fast franchise in the last movie, yeah. Fast 9, yeah. right? Can you talk about, like, getting that call and being part of, like, one of the biggest franchises in the world and also being a part of the family? Oh, that easiest choice in my life. Easiest. Like, no moments of contemplation whatsoever. <laughs> hey, would you like to? Sure, I'll do it. And then it is, it is what everyone says it is. And the cool thing is, uh, I was saying this last year, and some of the new cast members, Bree, Danielle, I, I get to listen to their stories this year, and it's the same. It's a welcoming family. Uh, Daniela said it in the press conference. They don't just do this for 10 years, they live it for 10 years. And I thought her quote was extremely profound. This is a, a family environment, and everyone, they love these movies. And they, they really try to put the fans first and, and give them a ride that they won't forget. Incredible, man. One last thing. I know everybody has like their own fighting style within the movie. I saw the movie. You have some really dope like fighting like things as well. Talk a little bit about like you really quickly talk a little bit about like crafting your fighting style to get ready for this one. Uh, you know, I think everybody's style is kind of a reflection of who they are. 
Uh, I think mine was kind of judged by a little bit by appearance, but what I do really admire is that the coordinators thought, and they were very nervous to ask me, like, hey, we have to crash this floor in this fight. Is it okay if we have the guy do the attitude adjustment? I was like, what I'm hearing is you want to immortalize my existence in WWE in the Fast Legacy? Absolutely. Pretty cool. So I know, I, I know that it will be polarizing, as is you know my personality in WWE. I know people will feel a certain way about it. Just from me, I think it's awesome. I think it nods to the whole WWE universe, which is, I know is very active and talkative. I think it melds the two worlds together brilliantly. And uh, it crashes a guy through a ceiling, so that's pretty dumb too. If you want to crash a guy through a ceiling, you got to do it like that. John? Thank, thank you very so much, much and thank, honestly, thanks for being here and getting the word out about the movie. Oh, of course, we're going to do it all day, every day. I'm going to be here when I'm gone because no one can be with it. All right. <laughs> John Cena, everybody. Hey, everyone, there's even more coverage of this red carpet. Check out the interactive Twitch stream, S-Fan TV, right here. Yeah. Now we got that. <laughs> All right, my friends, I am joined by the stunning Jordana Brewster. How are you? Yeah. I'm so good. I'm so excited. Me too. I mean, this is insane. Isn't this crazy? It is. <laughs> it's insane. Last time I saw you was at the Latinos in Hollywood event in Beverly Hills okay. last week. When did yes. you get in? I got in two days ago. Okay. Yeah, and it's been a whirlwind. It's been so much fun. You are spectacular in this film. Your action is next level. I heard you say that you were wanted to be like a stunt woman in another life. What was it about your action in this movie that was just so gratifying to you? It's so, I, I'm a very physical person and I love just running and jumping and fighting. And so, and I'm all, I used to also be a ballerina. So there's something about the dance aspect that I love and choreographing all of that. It's just fun. I was watching a featurette where you were like throwing this guy out of the window but yeah, yeah the only problem is you have to make sure it's bilateral because we only did one one side of my body and when i got home i was like "Ooh, why is my right side so sore that was why does that does doing that action make you want to get behind the wheel again not behind the wheel it just makes me want to kick some butt it's really what it makes me want to do yeah. Well, you definitely kick butt in this. The last time I talked to you, you were in beautiful pink Versace at the Fast 9 premiere. And I told you, and I asked you if you knew if Paul had a crush on you. And you said you didn't know, but that you had a crush on him too. And you also told me that you wore bracelets with Brian and Mia's kids' names on them in the Fast 9 film. Did you wear them in this film? Or are there any tributes or Easter eggs um, concerning Paul Walker that we can look out for in this movie? Well, I mean, there's a lot of footage from Fast 5. So Brian's actually in the film, which is really cool. It's, it's a really nice way to integrate him back into the franchise, which is very awesome. I love that him and Mia's relationship is still so much like alive in this movie. Do you do anything off screen to sort of channel, you know, his energy? His energy is always with me in that, um, well, I'm trying really hard to, I work with the Paul Walker Foundation, and that's something that's very, very close and dear to my heart. Um, and anytime Paul has this thing where it's like, do good, and, and we have something with a foundation called the Do Good Challenge, and any way you can do something good or pass something good along to someone else, that's keeping his spirit alive. So that's what I try to think about every single day. Love that. Um, last question I wanted to ask you is, you know, this is the beginning of the end. Yeah. How do you, and you were in like the very first one, how do you want Mia's story to end in a role that's been, you have said, so fundamentally essential to your career? Yeah, um, I would like it to end with her, you know, I want to integrate her kids into the franchise because I think when Mia unleashes that mama bear energy, she gets fierce and I want to see that fierceness come out a bit more. So I think that would be really awesome. I just want to hit some people. We do, we really do. I just want to kick some ass. You look absolutely stunning. Congratulations on the film. Have the best time in Roma. Love you. Mwah. Back to Juju. Okay, so good to okay. See you. Now, now, you guys got to like forgive me a little bit because my knees are weak, hearts in my foot. I'm here with Brie Larson right now. In your foot? It's in my foot. We got to get it out of there. I don't you know. I'll try and shake it out, get okay. some surgeons on there. Okay, sounds good. Now, Brie, I'm so, I was so excited when I heard that you were going to be a part of this movie. And it, I mean, it's such a big yeah, franchise. I'm more excited than you. A little bit? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, you're going to be in it. Like, no, yeah, I did it. It was cool. Can you talk to us a little bit about kind of like jumping into this franchise, especially since you're part of another huge franchise and kind of like taking on that challenge of not only juggling, but just being part of like 30 years, almost 30 years worth of like yeah, storytelling? Three years. Yeah, I mean, it was like this, when I got the phone call, I was like dancing, I was screaming, I was running. I've been begging for years to be in these movies because I love them so much. But then I had this like quiet moment where I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I don't know if I'm worthy of this. <laughs> like, can I do anything that would 
honor this heritage and legacy and, and create something that's meaningful and also additive to this. Right. And I was lucky that pretty quickly, it was like within a day, Vin asked me to come over for dinner and I met his kids and his kids started grilling me about like, what will you be bringing to the fast franchise? <laughs> and like the parents on a first date? Yeah, it was really intense and so for real and so helpful. I mean, they helped me with everything. Um, his son Vincent was like, we gotta talk about your car. He pulled up all these tabs and was like, this is what you gotta do. And then his youngest daughter, Pauline, uh, she was wearing this jacket that said good vibes only and she was in this like sassy mood stomping around and she's just smart and blunt and funny. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna base my character off of her. And so that's, that's how Tess became who she is. Yes, Tess, is, I like to call you Little Miss Nobody because it's ironic because you're not a nobody in the I'm film. not a nobody, I'm very much a somebody. Oh, well thank you Bree so much. You look gorgeous as always and I can't wait for everyone to see you in this movie because it's amazing. <laughs> thank you. All right, you take care. That was Brie Larson, everyone. Brie Larson. And now we're going to toss it right back to Naz. Who you got? Well, Juju, I am here with the effortlessly stylish and just gorgeous Sun Kang. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great, but look at this belt. Look at this outfit. Oh, my God. Do you love it? It's the best thing I've ever seen. I want this. I need this in my life. Okay, I will let you borrow this. I was going for Fast and Furious Gladiator. But let's talk about you because you, first of all, last time I saw you, we were trying to get you that shampoo and conditioner sponsorship. How's it working out for you? Not yet, not yet, not yet. But you know, the hair's still here. You know, it hasn't fallen out yet, so. It looks great. Shout out to Grace who cuts your hair on Olympic and yes. Western. Grace, yeah. Grace, you remember. I remember oh, everything about you. You're so awesome. Dude, I got you, son. I mean, Han is just, Han is my favorite character ever. And I don't understand how you effortlessly just eat food and talk and look so cool. Like, I would look like a toddler doing it. What's the secret to effortlessly eating snacks? A lot of practice. It's a lot of practice. I have a, have a, I have a lot of practice at home. Um, but no, I don't. I, I think I look like a slob when I eat. But thank you so much, thank you. You look amazing. And Han actually, because I've seen the movie, eats a new snack in this film. Don't want to give anything away, but what can you tease to fans watching right now live about that moment? You know, snacks are so important to Han that he incorpor incorporates them when his life is in danger, right? Yeah. Food saves all. That's right. Um, Han is also single in this movie. If Han had a dating app, what do you think his bio would say? Ah, loves snacks, loves cars, um, and uh, has great hair. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You really do have great hair. Uh, I mean, I would swipe right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, ditto. Ditto. <laughs> Feelings mutual. <laughs> oh, my God. We love it. I'm finding love here in Rome. Speaking of finding love, though, this is the beginning of the end, and I've always seen Han as, like, this grounding energy. I don't know if you've ever seen Captain Planet, but he feels like the one with, like, the heart ring. Like, he's just the heart of, of every scene that he's in. Do you want to see Han find love again in these next two films? I do. You know, people forget that in the Fast franchise, the love story between uh, Dom and Letty is a timeless love story at the end of the day, and I think... It's a perfect backdrop to have perhaps Han, you know, find love again, right? You never know. Never we'll know. get to see. I mean, you've been playing this character for 17 years. Thank you for everything you've brought to this character and have the best time at this epic celebration. It's going to be easy here, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you look amazing. You look amazing. We all look amazing. Juju, you look amazing. Shake What's going up. on Shake over there? Up. Oh, not only am I looking amazing, I'm here with the little B himself. His name is Leo in the fly fit. How you doing, Leo? How you doing? I'm true. I'm good, bro. Now that you're here, like, I'm trying to live up to this standard. Thanks. Yeah, man. So we were just talking just a little bit. Like, you're playing little B in the movie. Like, when you got the call to be in, like, Fast and Furious, did you, like, have an approach to this character? Because, like, you're a new guy in the franchise. Did you hope to get a car? Like, did you hope to drive? Tell me a little bit about that. My first thought, first thought was, am I going to drive? <laughs> no, sorry. That, that, that just didn't happen. Dreams crushed. Just like that, you know? Okay. But it was fun either way. Okay. Well, I need to know, were you a fan of the Fast franchise before coming on to this movie? And what is your favorite movie? Uh, kind of. I've heard of it. I've definitely became a bigger Fast and Furious fan now. Okay. I've heard of it before. I've seen a little bit of it, but I didn't watch the whole thing, no. It's all good. We'll have a movie marathon once we get it going. Sound good? All right, Leo, Lil B, nice chatting with you, bro. I need that name of that stylist, all right? All right, for sure, man. You get all you got, but a lot of people to talk to, bro. Like, I'll see you later, okay? After party? 
I got you. <laughs> that is Leo, everybody. That is my boy. Guys, we are in front of the Coliseum right now at the Fast X premiere, and right now we're going to talk to Naz. Who do you got this time? This cast is huge. This one. My friends, I am here with Alan Richson, who plays Ames. You are so tall. What's the weather like up there? Oh, what are you talking? You're tall. You're like, uh, you got shoulder height on me. Okay. Just a little squat, and we're the same height. A little squat, yeah. just a little squat. Um, listen, I was reading that uh, you met your wife in ballet, and she <laughs> she was serious cyber stalking. She was baking cookies for you backstage. This She's, is true? This is true. So I decided I'm going to take up baking. Please um, tell me about some cookies. Are you teasing? No, you're just... Oh, man, now I wish we had Milano cookies. Who are you here with? Are you here with your family? How's Rome been? Uh, it's been amazing. I'm here with my lovely wife. Uh, t today is actually our 17th anniversary. So this is, uh, I mean, who needs to plan like reservations at a restaurant when you can get the Coliseum for the biggest film in the world? That's so that's great. You got like a free yeah. trip out of it. That's amazing. Um, you know, you made your acting debut, Alan, as Aquaman in Smallville, and you have some scenes with Jason Momoa, who's also Aquaman. What Aqua Talk did you guys get into in this? Well, I left it alone. I didn't. You know, it's like no, because he got the cool Aquaman, and it's like I, I got the. I was in speedos, basically. You know, I mean, this was like pre. Like the cool, you know, he he was cool. He did it right. He was the best Aquaman, and I, you know, I don't, you know, I don't want to. What am I gonna? What am I gonna say? I don't know, Alan. You're my Aquaman, but that's fine. No, that's what you. That's I I love you in this. When I found out that you were gonna be in Fast X, I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited for him. I mean, your character is disarmingly unflappable. Are you like that in real life, or do little things bother you, like flies and stuff? <laughs> little things, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty, you know. You know what my thing has been my whole life is like people mistake the kindness for weakness, you know. So like they, it's uh, I think I think he's got a little bit of that too, you know. We're like it's you know that that kind of disarming charm, you know. But uh, so we have our similarities. But uh, yeah, no, I mean I've got you know my thing is I got misophonia, so like sounds are bothering. So it's not the, it's not like little gnats and stuff. It's the sounds like oh my gosh like. Uh, like eating, like people eating and stuff. <laughs> I have to eat alone in my room. I have to go alone. I've got three kids and I think they're like, okay, bye, he's going to have dinner now <laughs> in his room. It's like, it's a whole thing. Good thing Ames isn't near Han that much then because he's always eating snacks. Um, you oh, are yeah. incredible in this movie. Congratulations. I love the action and have the best time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Back to Juju, friends. You're about to call us on right now. Sorry, me, me, I'm just sitting here chatting with Natalie Manuel. Like, she's, like, we're just hanging out. We're friends at this point. So I hope everyone at home is jealous. Yeah, at the Coliseum, like, whatever. <laughs> Simple. Simple. We don't have the mind ties yet, but, you know, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> Somebody's going to bring them on. Natalie, like, I just want to talk about this one thing really, really bad, because I saw the film. Okay. And I saw you in the film. Oh, oh good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Good, can't miss her, can't miss her. <laughs> but I love the evolution of Fast and Furious. It started off as what I like to call point break with cars, right. street racing, right? And now it's evolved into this like inner, I don't want to say intergalactic yet, but just this global, like almost like spy, espionage, like thriller. And your character has evolved with it. Like you started off as like the tech person, but now I saw the trailer. You got a lot more to do in this oh, film. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. Did you like bug somebody for those scenes? Or like, how did that come out? Well, I think that it's been really clear that Ramsey's like, she's so good at, at what she does. And I think she's just somebody who's like hungry to like challenge herself, expand herself. Like now I sort of, I feel like her knowledge of technology and, uh, you know, hacking and all of this is so useful in the world of cars and the technology that is the potential. And I think that would be something that really excited her. And I think... You know, it's always important for me to just like feel that my characters are like developing and growing, and I think the the, the producers and writers and everybody in, involved like feel that way about all of us, which is so wonderful. And you know, I was just like, yeah, I love that she's kind of being challenged and she's being forced to do things that is outside her remit, often, but. You know, I think for someone whose history I would assume is like quite lonely, like hacking from a bedroom somewhere or a basement somewhere or a, I don't know, tower block or yeah. in the middle of nowhere, yeah. who knows to then be with this family and have to like work alongside other people and then sometimes take command and sometimes throw herself into situations like that to me is exciting. That That's incredible. Super fun. And it's been really fun watching that trajectory for her because 
I always kind of felt like Ramsey was like us in the movie. Like, yes. she is not part of this. She's like, I know computers, <laughs> and now things are exploding near me. I'm being driven off of cliffs. She has to learn. I'm like, there's people shooting near me. I'd, like, this isn't what my life the is. The time to be on a computer has ended now. And she Love. had to adapt, and so Love that. here Love we that. are. Love that. Thank you so much, Natalie. That was so Thank great. You. All right, Naz, who do you got? <laughs> oh, you know, no big deal. Just Jason Satham, a.k.a. Deckard Shaw. How are you doing, my friend? You look unbelievable. Thank you, Naz. You're looking rather fine yourself. I have been trying to search for one of the, uh, the British Mini Coopers, but clearly it's the wrong belt. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got to add some British cars to my belt. I'm get one for you. And congratulations on the trailer for Meg 2. Last time I talked to you was about five years ago for the yes. first Meg. You and I were talking about people who have slappable faces. Oh, really? Yeah, and I know according to Shaw, Han's got a slappable face, right? But what is it like for you and Sung Kang off screen? Because I know there's bad blood between your characters, but what's it like between you guys off screen? He's a lovely chap. Uh, he's a very sweet natured man, and uh, he's a wonderful chap to work with, a great pro. Uh, you know, we uh, we have the rivalry because of, you know, the, everyone knows the story. I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you the story that everyone knows. But we get to kind of, we get a face off in this movie. So I think the, uh, the you know, the fast fans are going to be very thrilled to see what, you know, what the outcome is. Yeah. Interesting. I, I mean, that's, I saw the movie. That scene is so good. One thing I've always wanted to ask you is historically, you know how athletes shave to reduce the effects of drag and go faster? Swimmers do, yes. Swimmers. Does the same apply to racing? Because there's so many beautiful bald men in this franchise. There's you, <laughs> there's Vin, there's Tyrese. Does it make you go faster? Well, you have to have the windows down to, to <laughs> and the sunroof open to kind of measure that uh, little data. Uh, but no, no, no. It just seems that bald men can drive, I guess. Bald men, bald men can drive. Bald men can drive. Um, let's talk about the Colosseum in the room. It is your first time in Rome. What, like, what are your thoughts? What have you eaten? Tell us everything. I've had pasta for every meal for the last three days because it's al dente, and I love it so much. Uh, but you know, walking around this city is a is a spectacle be, to behold. I've I've never seen such an immaculate preservation of uh, of beautiful historical buildings, and you know. This has such a great history. We're here at the Colosseum. Uh, I was in the Vatican yesterday. I mean, it's, uh, it's incredible. It's breathtaking. Uh, I don't know why I've, I've never ventured this to this town before, uh, but here I am. First time for everything. And it's even better when the trip's free, am I right? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> My friends, that is Jason Statham. Thank you so much. Thanks, Enjoy Ness. your night. You're Lovely. the best. Back to Juju. Bye. All right, I am chilling with Daniela Melchor. How are you doing, Miss? Because I, I feel like I got a double dose of you very recently. I saw you in Fast X, and then I saw you in Guardians of the Galaxy in pink. And I just said, like, she's just out here killing it. Like, what is it like to step out of the pink paint and come into a car? Uh, it's really easy, actually. <laughs> it's just like, you, all you have to do is just remove your makeup and just get your wheel and just go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was fun. It was fun. I'm I'm super grateful for everything that's been happening to me. I don't know who's upstairs doing all this, but it's working. Um, and I mean, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. yeah. Part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now you're part of the Fast Universe. That's uh, that's amazing. See, I would say that Fast has the best of all multiverses. Ooh. No. I like that. I think so. I yeah, like yeah. That. All right. I got one last question for you because I want to ask everybody this. There's been so many crazy stunts in all of Fast. Is there a stunt? that you think that they should do either in the this one or in the last one? What is a crazy stunt like off the top of your head that they should do? A crazy stunt? I would say drive underwater because we see a lot of cars going like to the water, okay. but we never saw them driving underwater. Okay. I don't even know if that's possible, but there's so many impossible things happening in the Fast Saga, why not? I kind of believe it. Plus you have Jason Momoa, like Aquaman. We already have an Aquaman, so. This is what, thank you so much. Yeah, put it in 11, we will <laughs> we will see that. Daniela, thank you so much, that's amazing. All right, Naz, that, you heard it here first. Naz, who do you got? Try and beat it. I wanna switch. You sure? Yeah, <laughs> try and beat that. Can we do the interview like this? You guys, I am standing next to the striking Charlie Theron, AKA Charlie Theron, AKA Cypher. How are you doing? You look unreal. Oh, thank you, you look amazing. This is incredible. Last time I saw you was at the Fast 9 premiere. Your mom was with you. She was so excited to put heels on. We were on the heels of COVID. Who are you here with tonight? 
Uh, I'm here with a few people, some, you know, some close people. It's nice. We're sharing. I mean, I think Universal's become kind of like a family to me. So I feel like weirdly like I am here with family. Yes. And that's like the theme of these movies, right? It's all family. I remember that premiere I was so lit up by how close you were to everyone. Yeah. Who are you closest with, like on the cast? I don't, I don't even think about it that way. I think we just, it's great that we, we don't see each other when we're making these movies. And so this is really the time that we get to like be on a stage together and spend time with each other because usually it's, for me anyway, it's very isolating. Obviously not for like the core fast team, but it's nice, it's nice to see everybody. And I, you know, I, I didn't see them that much on set, but I know all of them through the years of just making movies and I love them all. We love you, Charlize. I remember when I talked to you last, you said you'd only really worked with John. In this movie, you work with Michelle. You have an insane fight scene where you were coming off training for Old Guard 2. She was coming off Dungeons and Dragons, and you can like really feel that explosion on screen. Who left with more casualties that day? We had some bruises, for sure. I, yeah, I mean, that's just par for the course. Yeah, you just have ice packs close by and some Advil and call it a day, yeah. I was so struck that you were both wearing white, and I was like, I wonder how many times they had to change. Actually, not that much, no, yeah. Not as much as you would think, yeah. Amazing. I have one last question for you. Uh, obviously, you got to work with Jason Momoa, who's the best. You posted a picture with him, and he literally commented and said, finally, we get to work together. It was awesome. You're a legend. Tell us about working with Jason Momoa and what fans can expect from Dante, because I feel like they're going to love him as a villain. Yeah, I mean, that's I probably, I would say that's the saddest thing, of, of just not having him here tonight, because he is such an intricate part to the film. And I haven't seen the film, but I'm so excited to see it. Um, but working with him and getting to kick the movie off with him was really amazing because I got to kind of see him find this character and this character is just Wait for it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, I can't wait for you to see the movie. Thank you so much for stopping oh, and talking to us. Bye Charlize Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun in Rome. I get it. I know. I love shooting in Rome. I got to design my own Harley for this film. I got to do all my own stunts in the beautiful streets of the city. Almost my own stunts. Rome is one of my favorite cities on earth, so it was a dream come true.
I love fast cars. I mean, obviously, that should be the tagline of this entire franchise. But this is so exciting for me to announce. In case you missed it earlier in the show, Ruffles and Fast X have partnered up to give us the residents the chance to the, ch the chance to win prizes featuring Fandango movie tickets, Fast X gear, and for one lucky fan, you get this. Ready? You ready? a 2023 Dodge Charger RT. Now, if you want that Dodge Charger RT like I do, because I'm going to probably scoop that up myself, see the official rules and more details at rufflesfastx.com. Sorry, can you just say that again? I didn't. I, I didn't want really. The get... bod, the body, want... and then I want the dress, and then I want the belt. So uh, basically, I want all of it. I want all of you, my friends. I'm standing <laughs> next to Oscar winner Dame Helen Mirren. Helen, I just talked to you about being a superhero in Shazam: Fury of the Gods. You're in Fast and Furious, doing your own stuff. Roman stunts. goddess. I'm kind of back where I was born, aren't I? Really? <laughs> back where you were born, and you play a therapist in Kendrick Lamar's music video. You are at the crux of the coolest things in pop culture. Is there anything that you can't do? <laughs> uh, there's, there's nothing that I would like to try to do. Let's put it that way. You know, uh, whether I succeed or fail at it, it's another matter. But I love, uh, you know, I love a challenge. I love doing many different things. So yeah, I'm very fortunate that um, people invite me to share their world, yeah. like Kendrick, and like the Fast and Furious family. No, it's crazy. I can't believe we're in front of the Coliseum right now. You have a beautiful scene with Vin Diesel at the top of it, and you shot it on his birthday. We shot it on his birthday at the top of Castel Sant'Angelo, which is this amazing ancient fortress, sort of castle in the middle of uh, 
in the middle of Rome. So it, it was an incredible day. And yes, it was his birthday, and we sang him happy birthday from the, <laughs> overlooking the whole of Rome. I love your relationship with him. Is there something interesting about Vin Diesel that you think people would be surprised to find out? I think he's, you know, obviously he plays. I think the, one of the reasons Vin is such a successful actor and star is, is because he combines great strength with great sensitivity. And really, really, he's a very, very strong man who, who can, you know, manage to perpetuate this incredible franchise over these many years. And that takes great uh, courage and concentration and energy and commitment and discipline. Um, combined with this enormous sort of sensitivity and, and gentleness. So um, he is a very remarkable person, and I love him very much. Oh, I love your relationship with him so much. I mean, it's the reason why everyone wants to work with him, right? There are four Oscar winners yes. in this film, yes, including are. you and yeah. Rita Moreno, who are two people, two of the very few people on the planet, for everyone watching, who have won the Triple Crown of Acting, an Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony. Have you met Rita Moreno yet? Oh, yes, I've met her, yes, absolutely. What was your yes, first meeting like? For this. Oh, she's great. She's absolutely great. You know, the two of us come from theatre, so we have that sort of background. We're the sort of naughty girls, actually. <laughs> We're the two bad girls in yeah. the company. <laughs> You guys are the best. I mean, Queenie is just such a badass. I love all the driving you do in all of these films. Um, what kind of driver is Helen Mirren in real life? Like, do you get road rage? No, I don't get road rage. My husband does somewhat, and I always tell him off. But no, I don't, I, because everyone's living their own life. You don't know what's going on in the life of the person in front of you, behind you, driving the car. You know, they might be rushing to the hospital to, you know, see their sick father. You, you don't know. So I, I don't engage in that at all. But, um, but I do pride myself on my driving. And when I did Top Gear, which is a program on British I watched television. it. I watched it. And you beat, um, beat Brian Cox's Brian. race time. Yes, I did. I beat a lot of people's race time. I was very good. You, yeah. I want to be you. I want to be you. Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm rather arrogant about my driving. <laughs> You're the best. I hope we get to see Queenie behind the wheel. You look absolutely luminous. Thank, Thank you so you. much for stopping and talking Thank to us. You. Always a pleasure. Pleasure to Great. see you, Great Helen. See you I love you. Yeah. Back to you, Juju. <laughs>Awesome. I took the opportunity to ride from Rome to Tuscany with all my friends, eat some beautiful food, the best food in the world, and enjoy the amazing countryside. So, not much more you can ask for. know who it is we have the one and only incomparable Tyrese Gibson now bro this has been a long time coming for me specifically black man to black man man yes sir my favorite Fast and Furious movie is Too Fast Too Furious mm. been watching you since baby boy I grew up in Compton you've been a huge part of my life in all of wow. movies man not just your music but it's also your acting your charisma everywhere you go you bring nothing but sunshine happiness and just pure joy man I see you all the time and I just want you to know that we see you out here and you out here doing your thing. Roman Pierce is an iconic part of this franchise and he cemented his place in moviedom period history. So I just want to let you know that, my boy. No problem, no problem. Now, can I tell you my favorite Fast and Furious line that comes from you? Wait, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> gotta find the words. Um, First of all, wherever you are in the world, it should be a reminder that you can have a kid here from Compton and watch South Central LA. Now we're out here in Rome, Italy. The Coliseum. At the Coliseum. And that's not Photoshop. <laughs> this ain't Zoom with some green screen in the background. This is very real. It's real. Please, please. Be reminded that what you may see and feel and what you may be experiencing right now in this moment 
has nothing to do with, with the outcome of what God has in mind for you. Be reminded of that. I'm very grateful. Thank you for everything you said. Of course. Appreciate it. I know it came from the heart. I felt it. And, um, you know, one thing about me at this point, I don't want anybody to ever be inspired by just the success of the shiny buildings. I think to really encourage people, you got to make them understand that I know exactly what you're seeing, feeling, and experiencing right now in real time because I was there and I had no way of ever thinking or imagining that I would get through all of that because God had all of this in mind for me. So just stay encouraged, man. And for all of the fans and supporters, diehard fans and supporters of all things Fast and the Furious, wherever you are in the world, whatever language you speak, facts. whatever tax bracket you live in, that's facts. Whatever friends, family, and loved ones, I just want to personally thank each and every one of you guys individually for supporting us. There are so many more movies to support, so much clutter with TV and streaming all over the place. The fact that y'all keep showing up for us, it means the world. So grateful. Tyrese, it's all love, bro. It's all love. Thank yes, you so sir. much. That's Tyrese Naz. What you got? We already had a moment over here. What's your moment? Okay, so that was beautiful and all, but guys, I, I'm, I'm actually quite literally shaking to be in your presence right now. Oh, I've wanted to meet it. you my entire life. I'm Dominican, and you are a powerhouse when it comes to Dominican and Latina representation, and I just wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Dude, you are, like, no character looked like Letty, acted like Letty before you stepped into that in this epic action franchise. We're in front of the car. I mean, you're a glorified convict. <laughs> I am a glorified convict. Aren't I? It's the beginning of the end. You look stunning. Um, how do you feel about this being the end? Are you kind of like, oh, no, this is the end? Or are you, like, excited for everyone to see? Everything comes to an end. And for me, what, what's exciting is that it's never really an end. It's like the beginning of a new generation. You know, so you get to see what the kids are going to do. I think cars will be in our lives forever. I think the car scene is going to be around forever. And, um, and so, you know, it's a beautiful culture full of tons of people who find family in all kinds of places in the streets. It's a, you know, I think we started this being the hip hop of the film industry. Because when we started, there were no people of color like in movies. And we kind of were lucky enough to, to start our franchise at the point in time where globalization had just started. The internet was born and the world started to look a lot different. People saw that the world wasn't the United States of America and it wasn't just Caucasian, you know, that the world was very yellow and very brown. And so it was just a beautiful introduction and I think that that will live on. Uh, we also represent, I think, you know, people who live on the other side of the tracks who might not necessarily be accepted by society and um, just showing the world that, that they have a platform too and that they can be seen around the world through us, you know? Amen, sister. Represent them, you know? You were in the very first one. This may be a little personal, but I was wondering, what is your phone background? Like, is it Fast and Furious related? You got you the, like, what is on the background of your phone? Like, is it like a picture of the familia? Like no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a picture of my cat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask you about, I, I thought it was maybe Jason Momoa, because I heard you say something primal happens to you when you see that man. Like, what what is that exactly? It does something primitive to me, that's for sure. Can you tell us what that is? I don't know what it is. I just think it's it's just natural, you know, when a girl sees a strong, you know, man who, who who's not scared to be himself. It's very attractive. How do you think fans are going to react to Dante? Because you've seen fans react to a they bunch of different... They love him. He's the best. Right? He's a twisted creepy villain like you thought that Charlize Theron played a badass villain she does and she is as cold as ice and you really have to chip away to find a heart somewhere in there but this guy <laughs> this guy takes it to a whole other level he's funny he's witty but creepy at the same time and you kind of like him and you're like how can I like this guy he's he's a bad guy you know like he's evil hi Vin oh, I thought you'd never notice I would have dressed up if I would have known. Hi, how are you? How are you? It's so lovely to see you. Good to see you. Oh my goodness, oh my, my God, friends. I can't believe you're here in Rome. It's crazy. You know, they, guys, I'm so obsessed. Like, I gotta get my thoughts together right now. They say Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was this franchise, man. And you have molded this epic and storied franchise like clay 
It's insane. Can we, I know red carpets are crazy. Should we take a moment to just like take this in? What are you feeling? Who built this? We built this. And we built this with love. And we built this with integrity. And a lot of hard work. And what I really, when I really, really think about it, you see Dom and Levy standing here in Rome. But the reason why we're here at this seventh wonder, the reason why we're the first to ever have a premiere at the Coliseum is because of the hundreds of millions of people that it's have fans. called themselves our fans. <laughs> and and it, I was feeling kind of uh, emotional about it this morning because it was like, we're here with so all of fun. them. They're all here in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. We all did it together. All of you who have always been loyal to our saga, you are standing with us today as we show the world Fast X, you are here with us in spirit. You kept it alive. You kept it alive. <laughs> and we thank you so, so, so much. We're only trying to reach higher for you. We hope to make you proud. You guys always make us proud, and you have kept all of this alive, including Paul Walker's presence and essence in all these films. It's the 10th anniversary of his here. passing. His daughter's here, Meadow Walker, who is in the movie. You walked her down the aisle. You guys are such a family. Do you guys, do you talk to him at all, even though he's transitioned? Or, you know, what would you say to him tonight at the premiere of the beginning of the end, if you could? Well, he, it's what he's going to say to me after the movie plays that I'm waiting for. <laughs> uh, if you ask my kids, they'll say, when they want to talk to Uncle Pablo, they go to the ocean. I think the ocean is the closest thing we have to God. You know, Vin, the last time I got to talk to you, I asked you, you know, is this the end of Dom? Is, you know, are we gonna get to see Dom? And you said, no, this is just the end of the mythology. What can you tell us about the future of Dom outside of this saga? And what conversations have you guys been having about that? It's a, it's a really, no, it's a really good question. Um, as filmmakers, though, you want to allow people to enjoy the film without, without tipping the hat too much. Um, I can say this. Uh, going into making this movie, the, the, the studio had asked if this could be a two-parter. And after the studio saw this, part one, they said, could you make Fast X, the finale, a trilogy? So, um... It's three acts in any yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. So are you guys confirming right now well, that I'm, we're getting a third movie? In trouble here. Wait, did that just happen? Wait, 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 where are you guys going? Are you kidding me right now? You guys heard it here first. We may be getting a third movie. <laughs> I love you, Vin Diesel. I love you, <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez. Wow, I'm really good at my job. Juju, what's going on over there? Whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay. Now, How are you? I am here with the one and only Rita Moreno. She walked up and I literally like fell to my knees <laughs> because she is such a legend. She is so beautiful. She is so incomparable. She is, you're just amazing. Oh my, God. what can I possibly say after that? You know what, there's not much to say. I, I, you know, I would like to know one thing because I feel like we've had a whole conversation before we got to this. You're, you're in Rome. What is your favorite part of Rome so far? We're in front of the Colosseum, but I know there's lots of other things. Gee, you know what? I love it all. I don't have a favorite because there's so, if I were to say favorite, I would pick like 10 things. So it's an extraordinary city, but also let's not forget the food, please. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten so much while I was here. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, some gelato. You know, oh God. Yeah, the gelato. So I have had maybe like six different things of gelato. No, pasta. I'm a pasta woman. Pasta girl? Yes. Okay. <laughs> not girl. No, no, I'm not a girl. I'm a pasta woman. Pasta woman. <laughs> Put that on the T-shirt. I'm gonna make you a T-shirt. Okay. Rita Moreno, pasta woman. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do it. Rita, thank you so much for talking to you. Can I give you a hug? Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you so much Absolutely. for coming up and talking to me. Bye. Rita, everyone. Wow. That. Mm. My knee was like dug into the ground because she's so awesome. Mass. I Rita. You just talked to Rita Moreno. I just talked to Rita. Moreno. The first Latina to ever win an Oscar. Oh so, my gosh. Oh, Scott is here. 
So, well, Scott, well, Scott's right over there. Oh my God, there's Scott Eastwood. Dude, what about that moment you had with Tyrese and the same moment with Michelle Rodriguez? I know. I'm kind of freaking I know. out. I mean, we were having that at the same time. This is just kind of like. It was synchronetic, yeah, right? Yeah. I just want everyone watching right now to know at home that this is why we love these movies yes. because we see ourselves in these films. Yes. And this is the beginning of the end, a story that we've been following for three decades. Yes. So even if you haven't even seen every Fast and Furious film, like this is it. It's kind of like when you don't watch the NBA final or the yeah. NBA season and yeah. you tune in for the finals or you tune in for that last is. lap in a NASCAR race. Like this is it. You guys have to watch this movie in theaters. Juju and I saw it and it is the Bar action Bar is next Bar level. They, it's no CG. I don't know how they keep one upping the action from the last movie and how like, you know, you bring in new stunt people and you say like, okay, what did we do last one? Let's try this this time. And every single time my jaw's on the floor, and there's the best part is, is that there's character moments within those action moments. Yes. And that is what really pulls you in because like you said, you see yourself in these characters, like like the diversity in these characters and the way they act, the way they talk. You, I see myself in uh, Tej, I see myself in Roman Pierce, I see myself even in Dom Toretto. So I feel like this is a franchise unlike any other because not many franchises can give you that. And it's just a beautiful thing. And we've been connecting with them since 2001. I mean, my friends, <laughs> Harry, Harry, the first Harry Potter came out the same year in 2001. Yeah, think about that. And that franchise came and went, and that's yep. just a testament to the longevity and the cult following that Vin Diesel and this entire cast has built with these Fast and Furious films. I mean, like, and what that's they did in said. Rome, I mean, oh I could God. go on and on. It's like literally like buying a ticket to an amusement park ride. You know when you're, you're like, get back from the roller coaster, and you're like, let's yeah, go yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I was like, how did they not break Rome? Like, one of the best stunts are wild. that we what? walked these streets. Right? We walk these streets, we walk past the Coliseum, and then we see it get blown up in the movie. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. You're just like, whoa, that's insane. I mean, my friends, this Damn. is crazy. Fast X opens globally in one week, part one of the two-part close to this Parts. Fast Saga. We'll come back. Maybe. That has meant so much to so many of us. This has been so much fun, Juju, and we are so happy that all of you guys were here to enjoy it with us. Oh, my God. It's been so great. And look, yes, I can thank you, Fabio. Thank you, Fabio. Fabio, Fabio is over here. He's winking at us yes. right now. Thank you, and Ruffles. He's welcomed us to his beautiful city. He's welcomed us to his home. Get, actually, get him in here. Come in here. Oh, wow. There he is. I'm a sandwich. So we love having everyone here and, of course, having Rome as a character in the film itself. That, thank you, guys. It has been a blast. And now for you guys, we have this exclusive clip of Fast X. Arrivederci, amigos. Arrivederci, ragazzi. Ciao. Guys, we're Rome. You all came because you wanted to see a race. Let's race! I've been studying you. I'm watching you. I can't figure it out. It's how. How do you choose how do you choose the ones you save? Janeiro, baby! Prontos! Uh, 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 uh.